This video considers time zones. The Earth's rotation causes day and night. While some parts of the world are in daylight, others are in darkness. Places on the same longitude are at the same time. Time zones endeavour to standardise places on a similar longitude to the same time. The different time zones are located in approximate 15 degree belts around the globe, representing one hour of time difference. The time zone belts are all measured relative to the time at the prime meridian. The time at the prime meridian is called Universal Time Coordinated, or UTC. The time zones shown in the previous map are theoretical and approximate actual international time zones. The real time zones follow the borders of countries so that the whole of a country or the whole of a state in a country is all at the same time. In Australia we have three time zones, Eastern Standard Time, Central Standard Time and Western Standard Time. Some states also operate daylight savings which further complicates the situation. When a state is operating daylight savings, the zone time is a further hour ahead of universal time coordinated. To find the theoretical time zone of a city relative to UTC, divide the longitude of the city by 15, then round up or down to the nearest whole number. Cities that have a longitude east of the prime meridian are ahead of UTC, and cities that have a longitude west of the prime meridian are behind UTC. When using this approach to find the time zone of a city, there's no need to consider the international date line. Pause the video now and take a look at the worked example that has been presented before we try and do a couple of problems together. In this example, we're asked to find the time zones for some different locations. To do this for Beijing, we take its longitude and divide by 15. Now we need to round this to the nearest number rounding up or down appropriately. So we will be rounding it up to 8. Now as Beijing has a longitude that is to the east of prime meridian, Beijing is 8 hours ahead of UTC. Moscow has a longitude of 38 degrees to the east. Take its longitude and divide by 15. Again we're rounding to the nearest so we round up to 3. And because Moscow is to the east of prime meridian, it will be ahead. Moscow is three hours ahead of UTC. Brasilia has a longitude of 48 degrees to the west. Take its longitude and divide by 15. This time 3.2 is nearest to 3, so we're going to round it down. And as Brasilia is to the west of the prime meridian, it will be three hours behind UTC. To do questions like this one, the first step is to find the time zones for each location. Divide Rome's longitude by 15 and round to the nearest. We're going to round down in this case to 1 and because the longitude is to the east, Rome is 1 hour ahead of UTC. To find Tokyo's time zone, divide its longitude by 15 and we'll round down to find that Tokyo is 9 hours ahead of UTC. This means that the time zone difference will find Tokyo 8 hours ahead of Rome. So the time in Tokyo will be 3 p.m. plus 8 hours, that's 11 p.m. The next example is similar. Find Cape Town's time zone, 18 divided by 15 equals 1.2. Round it to the nearest, so that's 1 hour and it'll be ahead of UTC because Cape Town's longitude is to the east. Find the New York time zone. 74 divided by 15 equals 4.93. Round it to the nearest, that's 5 hours, and it will be behind UTC because its longitude is to the west. So all in all, New York is 6 hours behind Cape Town. The time in New York will be 3 p.m. minus 6 hours, that will be 9 a.m.